Lorentium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol LR formerly LW and atomic number 103. It is named in honor of Ernest Lorentz, inventor of the cyclotron, a device that was used to discover many artificial radioactive elements. A radioactive metal, lorentium is the 11th transuranic element and is also the final member of the actinide series. Like all elements with atomic number over 100, lorentium can only be produced in particle accelerators by bombarding lighter elements with charged particles. Twelve isotopes of lorentium are currently known, the most stable is 266 LR with a half-life of 11 hours, but the shorter-lived 260 LR half-life 2.7 minutes is most commonly used in chemistry because it can be produced on a larger scale. Chemistry experiments have confirmed that lorentium behaves as a heavier homologue to lutetium in the periodic table, and as a trivalent element. It thus could also be classified as the first of the seventh period transition metals, however, its electron configuration is anomalous for its position in the periodic table, having an S2P configuration instead of the S2D configuration of its homologue lutetium. This means that lorentium may be more volatile than expected for its position in the periodic table and have a volatility comparable to that of lead. In the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, many claims of the synthesis of lorentium of varying quality were made from laboratories in the Soviet Union and the United States. The priority of the discovery and therefore the naming of the element was disputed between Soviet and American scientists, and while the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC initially established lorentium as the official name for the element and gave the American team credit for the discovery, this was re-evaluated in 1997, giving both teams shared credit for the discovery but not changing the element's name. History In 1958, scientists at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory claimed the discovery of element 102, now called nobelium. At the same time, they also attempted to synthesize element 103 by bombarding the same curium target used with nitrogen-14 ions. A follow-up on this experiment was not performed, as the target was destroyed. 18 tracks were noted, with decay energy around 9 plus or minus 1 MeV and half-life around 1 quarter s. The Berkeley team noted that while the cause could be the production of an isotope of element 103, other possibilities could not be ruled out. While the data agrees reasonably with that later discovered for 257 LR alpha decay energy 8.87 MeV, half-life 0.6 s, the evidence obtained in this experiment fell far short of the strength required to conclusively demonstrate the synthesis of element 103. Later, in 1960, the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory attempted to synthesize the element by bombarding 252 CF with 10 B and 11 B. The results of this experiment were not conclusive. The first important work on element 103 was carried out at Berkeley by the nuclear physics team of Albert Giorso, Torbjorn Sickland, Almond Larsh, Robert M. Latimer, and their co workers on February 14, 1961. The first atoms of lorentium were reportedly produced by bombarding a 3 mg target consisting of three isotopes of the element californium with boron-10 and boron-11 nuclei from the Heavy Ion Linear Accelerator The Berkeley team reported that the isotope 257103 was detected in this manner, and that it decayed by emitting an 8.6 MeV alpha particle with a half-life of 8 plus or minus 2 s. This identification was later corrected to be 258,103, as later work proved that 257 LR did not have the properties detected, but 258 LR did. This was considered at the time to be convincing proof of the synthesis of element 103. While the mass assignment was less certain and proved to be mistaken, it did not affect the arguments in favor of element 103 having been synthesized. Scientists at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna then in the Soviet Union raised several criticisms, all but one were answered adequately. The exception was that 252 CF was the most common isotope in the target, and in the reactions with 10B, 258 LR could only have been produced by emitting four neutrons, and emitting three neutrons was expected to be much less likely than emitting four or five. This would lead to a narrow yield curve, not the broad one reported by the Berkeley team. A possible explanation was that there was a low number of events attributed to element 103. 
This was an important intermediate step to the unquestioned discovery of element 103, although the evidence was not completely convincing. The Berkeley team proposed the name, Lorentzium, with symbol LW, after Ernest Orlando Lawrence, inventor of the cyclotron. The IUPAC Commission on Nomenclature of Inorganic Chemistry accepted the name, but changed the symbol to LR. This acceptance of the discovery was later characterized as being hasty by the Dubna team. 25,298 CF plus 115 B 263,103 LR asterisk 258,103 LR plus 510 NTHE first work at Dubna on element 103 came in 1965, when they reported to have created 256,103 in 1965 by bombarding 243 M with 18 O, identifying it indirectly from its granddaughter Fermium 200. The half-life they reported was somewhat too high, possibly due to background events. Later 1967 work on the same reaction identified two decay energies in the ranges 8.35 to 8.50 MeV and 8.50 to 8.60 MeV, these were assigned to 256,103 and 257,103. Despite repeated attempts, they were unable to confirm assignment of an alpha emitter with a half-life of 8 seconds to 257,103. The Russians proposed the name, Rutherfordium, for the new element in 1967, this name was later used for element 104. 24,395 M plus 188 O 261,103 LR 256,103 LR plus 5,10 and further experiments in 1969 at Dubna and in 1970 at Berkeley demonstrated an actinide chemistry for the new element, so that by 1970 it was known that element 103 is the last actinide. In 1970, the Dubna group reported the synthesis of 255,103 with half-life 20s and alpha decay energy 8.38 MeV. However, it was not until 1971, when the nuclear physics team at the University of California at Berkeley successfully performed a whole series of experiments aimed at measuring the nuclear decay properties of the Lorentzium isotopes with mass numbers from 255 through 260, that all previous results from Berkeley and Dubna were confirmed, apart from the Berkeley's group initial erroneous assignment of their first produced isotope to 257,103 instead of the probably correct 258. 8103. All final doubts were finally dispelled in 1976 and 1977 when the energies of X-rays emitted from 258,103 were measured. In 1971, the IUPAC granted the discovery of Lorentzium to the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, even though they did not have ideal data for the element's existence. However, in 1992, the IUPAC Transfermium Working Group TWG officially recognized the nuclear physics teams at Dubna and Berkeley as the co-discoverers of Lorentzium, concluding that while the 1961 Berkeley experiments were an important step to Lorentzium's discovery, they were not yet completely convincing, and while the 1965, 1968, and 1970 Dubna experiments came very close to the needed level of confidence taken together, only the 1971 Berkeley Berkeley experiments, which clarified and confirmed previous observations, finally resulted in complete confidence in the discovery of element 103. Because the name, Lorentzium, had been in use for a long time by this point, it was retained by IUPAC, and in August 1997, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC ratified the name Lorentzium and the symbol, LR, during a meeting in Geneva. Topic. Characteristics Topic. Physical Lorentzium is the final member of the actinide series and is sometimes considered to be a group 3 element, along with scandium, yttrium, and lutetium, as its filled F shell is expected to make it resemble the seventh period transition metals. In the periodic table, it is located to the right of the actinide nobelium, to the left of the 6D transition metal rutherfordium, and under the lanthanide lutetium with which it shares many physical and chemical properties. 
Lorentzium is expected to be a solid under normal conditions and assume a hexagonal close-packed crystal structure C, A. Equals 1.58, similar to its lighter congener lutetium, though this is not yet known experimentally. The enthalpy of sublimation of lorentium is estimated to be 352 kJ per mole, close to the value of lutetium and strongly suggesting that metallic lorentium is trivalent with the 7s and 6d electrons delocalized, a prediction also supported by a systematic extrapolation of the values of heat evaporization, bulk modulus, and atomic volume of neighboring elements to lorentium. Specifically, lorentium is expected to be a trivalent, silvery metal, easily oxidized by air, steam, and acids, and having an atomic volume similar to that of lutetium and a trivalent metallic radius of 171 pm. It is expected to be a rather heavy metal with a density of around 15.6 to 16.6 g per cc. It is also predicted to have a melting point of around 1900 K, 1627 degrees Celsius, not far from the value for lutetium 1925 K. equals topic chemical equals in 1949, Glenn T. Seaborg, who devised the actinide concept that elements 89 to 103 formed an actinide series homologous to the lanthanide series from elements 57 to 71, predicted that element 103, lorentium, should be its final member and that the Lr3+ ion should be about as stable as Lu3+ in aqueous solution. It was not until decades later that element 103 was finally conclusively synthesized and this prediction was experimentally confirmed. 1969 studies on the element showed that lorentium reacted with chlorine to form a product that was most likely the trichloride LrCl3. Its volatility was found to be similar to that of the chlorides of curium, fermium, and nobelium and much less than that of rutherfordium chloride. In 1970, chemical studies were performed on 1500 atoms of the isotope 256 Lr, comparing it with divalent no, ba, ra, trivalent Fm, Cf, Cm, Am, Ac, and tetravalent Th, Pu elements. It was found that lorentium coextracted with the trivalent ions, but the short half-life of the 256 Lr isotope precluded a confirmation that it eluded ahead of Md3+ in the elution sequence. Lorentium occurs as the trivalent Lr3 plus ion in aqueous solution and hence its compounds should be similar to those of the other trivalent actinides, for example, lorentium fluoride LRF3 and hydroxide LRO3 should both be insoluble in water. Due to the actinide contraction, the ionic radius of Lr3 plus should be smaller than that of Md3 plus, and it should elute ahead of Md3 plus when ammonium alpha hydroxyisobutyrate ammonium alpha HIB is used as an eluent. Later 1987 experiments on the longer-lived isotope 260 Lr confirmed lorentium's trivalency and that it eluted in roughly the same place as erbium, and found that lorentium's ionic radius was 88.6 plus or minus 0.3 pm, larger than would be expected from simple extrapolation from periodic trends. Later 1988 experiments with more lorentium atoms refined this value to 88.1 plus or minus 0.1 pm and calculated an enthalpy of hydration value of minus 3,685 plus or minus 13 kJ per mole. It was also pointed out that the actinide contraction at the end of the actinide series was larger than the analogous lanthanide contraction, with the exception of the last actinide, lorentium. The cause was speculated to be relativistic effects. It has been speculated that the sevens electrons are relativistically stabilized, so that in reducing conditions, only the 7p1/2 or 6d electron would be ionized, leading to the monovalent Lr plus ion. However, all experiments to reduce Lr3 plus to Lr2 plus or Lr plus in aqueous solution were unsuccessful, similarly to lutetium. On the basis of this, the standard electrode potential of the E degree Lr3 plus Lr plus couple was calculated to be less than minus 1.56 volts, indicating that the existence of Lr plus ions in aqueous solution was unlikely. 
The upper limit for the E degree LR3 plus LR2 plus couple was predicted to be minus 0.44 volts. The values for E degree LR3 plus LR and E degree LR4 plus LR3 plus are predicted to be minus 2.06 volts and plus 7.9 V. The stability of the group oxidation state in the 6D transition series decreases as RFIV greater than dBV greater than SGVI, and lorentium continues the trend with LRI. I being more stable than RFIV, in the molecule lorentium dihydride LRH2, which is predicted to be bent, the 6D orbital of lorentium is not expected to play a role in the bonding, unlike that of lanthanum dihydride LA2. LA2 has LA H bond distances of 2.158 A, while LRH2 should have shorter LRH bond distances of 2.042 A due to the relativistic contraction and stabilization of the 7s and 7p orbitals involved in the bonding, in contrast to the core like 5F subshell and the mostly uninvolved 6D subshell. In general, molecular LRH2 and LRH are expected to resemble the corresponding thallium species thallium having a 6s26p1 valence configuration in the gas phase, like lorentium 7s 27p1 more than the corresponding lanthanide species. The electron configurations of LR plus and LR2 plus are expected to be 7s2 and 7s1 respectively, unlike the lanthanides which tend to be 5d1 as lane 2 plus. However, in species where all three valence electrons of lorentium are ionized to give at least formally the LR3 plus cation, lorentium is expected to behave like a typical actinide and the heavier congener of lutetium, especially because the first three ionization potentials of lorentium are predicted to be similar to those of lutetium. Hence, unlike thallium but like lutetium, lorentium would prefer to form LRH3 than LRH, and LRCO is expected to be similar to the also unknown LUCO, both metals having a valence configuration of sigma 2 pi 1 in their respective monocarbonyls. The p pi d pi bond is expected to be observed in LRCl3 just as it is for LUCl3 and more generally all the LNCl3, and the complex anion LR C5H4 sim 3 3 minus is expected to be stable just like its lanthanide congeners, with a configuration of 6d1 for lorentium. This 6d orbital would be its highest occupied molecular orbital. <laughs> Topic Atomic equals A lorentium atom has 103 electrons, of which three can act as valence electrons. In 1970, it was predicted that the ground state electron configuration of lorentium was Rn 5f 146d 17s 2 ground state term symbol 2d 3 halves, following the Aufbau principle and conforming to the Z 4f 145d 16s 2 configuration of lorentium's lighter homologue lutetium. However, the next year, calculations were published that questioned this prediction, instead expecting an anomalous Rn 5F 147's 27P1 configuration. Though early calculations gave conflicting results, more recent studies and calculations confirm the S2P suggestion. 1974 relativistic calculations concluded that the energy difference between the two configurations was small and that it was uncertain which was the ground state. Later 1995 calculations concluded that the S2P configuration should be energetically favored, because the spherical S and P1 half orbitals are nearest to the atomic nucleus and thus move quickly enough that their relativistic mass increases significantly. In 1988, a team of scientists led by Eichler calculated that Lorentium's enthalpy of adsorption on metal sources would differ enough depending on its electron configuration that it would be feasible to carry out experiments to exploit this fact to measure Lorentium's electron configuration. The S2P configuration was expected to be more volatile than the S2D configuration, and be more similar to that of the P-block element lead. No evidence for lorentium being volatile was obtained and the lower limit for the enthalpy of adsorption of lorentium on quartz or platinum was significantly higher than the estimated value for the S2P configuration in 2015. The first ionization energy of lorentium was measured using the isotope 256 LR the measured value, 4.96 plus 0.08 minus 0.07 electron volts, agreed very well with the relativistic theoretical prediction of 4.963 eV, and also provided a first step into measuring the first ionization energies of the transactinides. 
This value is the lowest among all the lanthanides and actinides, and supports the S2P configuration as the 7p1/2 electron is expected to be only weakly bound. This suggests that lutetium and lawrencium behave similarly to the d-block elements and hence being the true heavier congeners of scandium and yttrium, instead of lanthanum and actinium, and also that lawrencium may behave similarly to the alkali metals sodium and potassium in some ways. Given that the S2P configuration is correct, then lawrencium cannot be regarded as a transition metal under the IUPAC definition an element whose atom has an incomplete d sub shell or which can give rise to cations with an incomplete d sub shell unlike its lighter homologue lutetium and the group 3 elements with which lutetium and lawrencium are sometimes classified it is nevertheless quite likely that metallic lawrencium will behave similarly to curium which has an rn 5 f 76 d 17s 2 configuration and show the expected rn 5 f 146 d 17s 2 configuration which is supported by the earlier volatility experiments equals <laughs> topic isotopes equals 12 isotopes of lawrencium are known, with mass numbers 252-262 and 266, all are radioactive. Additionally, one nuclear isomer is known, with mass number 253. The longest lived lawrencium isotope, 266 LR, has a half-life of 10 hours and is one of the longest lived super-heavy isotopes known to date, suggesting that it is perhaps on the shore of the island of stability of super-heavy nuclei. However, shorter-lived isotopes are usually used in chemical experiments because 266 LR currently can only be produced as a final decay product of even heavier and harder to synthesize elements. It was discovered in 2014 in the decay chain of 294 teraseconds. The isotope 256 LR, half-life 27 seconds, was used in the first chemical studies on lawrencium. Currently, the slightly longer-lived isotope 260 LR, half-life 2.7 minutes, is usually used for this purpose. After 266 LR, the longest-lived lawrencium isotopes are 262 LR, 3.6 H, 261 LR, 44 minutes, 260 LR, 2.7 minutes, 256 LR, 27 S, and 255 LR, 22 S. All other known lawrencium isotopes have half-lives under 20 seconds, and the shortest lived of them, 252 LR, has a half-life of only 390 milliseconds. However, the undiscovered isotopes with mass numbers 263 to 265 are expected to have longer half-lives 263 LR, 5H, 264LR and 265LR, 10H. The half-lives of lawrencium isotopes mostly increase smoothly from 252 LR to 266 LR, with a dip from 257 LR to 259 LR. Equals Topic. Preparation and purification Topic. While the lightest 252 LR to 254 LR and heaviest 266 LR Lorentzium isotopes are produced only as alpha decay products of dubnium Z. 105 isotopes the middle isotopes 255 lr to 262 lr can all be produced by bombarding actinide americium to einsteinium targets with light ions from boron to neon the two most important isotopes 256 lr and 260 lr are both in this range 256 LR can be produced by bombarding californium 249 with 70 MeV boron 11 ions producing lawrencium 256 and 4 neutrons, while 260 LR can be produced by bombarding berkelium 249 with oxygen 18 producing lawrencium 260, an alpha particle, and 3 neutrons. Both 256 LR and 260 LR have half-lives too short to allow a complete chemical purification process. 
Early experiments with 256 LR therefore used rapid solvent extraction, with the chelating agent thenoyl trifluoroacetone TTA dissolved in methyl isobutyl ketone as the organic phase, and with the aqueous phase being buffered acetate solutions. Ions of different charge plus two, plus three, or plus four will then extract into the organic phase under different pH ranges, but this method will not separate the trivalent actinides and thus 256 LR must be identified by its emitted 8.24 MeV alpha particles. More recent methods have allowed rapid selective elution with alpha HIB to take place in enough time to separate out the longer lived isotope 260 LR, which can be removed from the catcher foil with 0.05 M hydrochloric acid. <laughs> See also